You know, we were talking before you came on, and uh, there's three players in the NHL that are leading their teams in points and PIMS. Uh, two of them are your sons, which is a pretty cool stat. <laughs> Would you say that the PIMS part comes naturally to them, or did you encourage them to play a little bit more aggressively? I'm asking because I have a six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully a six-year-old's not going out there doing some of the stuff. No, he's not nearly doing. tough enough yet, <laughs> Keith. I'm working on him. Well, I wouldn't say that. But no, you know what? The boys, uh, I like the fact that the boys play the game hard and, 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 you know, they'll do things to help out their team win and, you know, play in the tough areas. And that's what it's all about. It's not all about, you know, fighting or doing this. It's about getting your nose dirty and, and sending the right message to your team. And if you have to take a penalty, that's the way it goes. But, you know, Hopefully they're not in there too much. I think Matthew is, you know, needs to make sure he's on the ice more. The wins are so critical. And, and I think Brady, you know, Brady will fight. I mean, I, that's what I love the fact about him. Like he's not willing to back. He's not going to back down to anybody. And that, they play the game hard. And I respect that. Your uh, experience, not only uh, uh, playing, but also being a dad, minor hockey, watching Brady and Matthew come up through the ranks and just the type of players that they are today, we don't see that many, Keith, anymore. So in your opinion, is it because we're not asking players to play that way anymore or we're just not finding players willing to do it? Well, it's a, that's a great question. I mean, I think every I think nowadays it's I think everybody wants to be a skilled player. I mean, when they're a kid, which is great, that's what you want to teach at a young age. You you want to make sure these guys have, you know, the proper ingredients to play to be successful in skill work and skating and and stuff like that. You know, and it's some of that grind that you have in here that compete. I mean, it's got to be within you. You got to be want to be able to play in an uncomfortable situation and and kids nowadays are treated different too you got to remember that um there's not you know what the what the hitting has kind of gone away in the youth uh, hockey which is great because you don't want to see these kids getting hurt um but then again some of these kids are so focused on skill they put themselves in some difficult situations and they get clobbered out there so Mm -hmm. it's a fine line i guess but i like the fact that you know, when things aren't going well for you um, individually as skill-wise with the puck, there's another ingredient that you can bring to help your team. And I think that's why I love the fact that they're willing to play a physical game and play it in your face and, and and you know, agitate a little bit, I guess. Uh, but I think it's the compete level that's most important for me. And anybody, you know, every time I told my kids, you know, I don't care if they score goals or do this or do that. It's willing to compete and be a good teammate. And they've done a good job of that. 